What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Dick Wise's Colts franchise, and this time we got the playoffs. We had that first round by, so in this week, I'm going to go on ahead and show you some of the awards that we got. Peyton Manning won the MVP, Chuck Nosell, the coach, won coach of the year, and Trent Richardson, a.k.a. the trade fodder, won offensive player of the year. Now we're going to go on ahead and we're going to take a look at the defensive MVP and it was Trent Cole for the NFC. Well, you guys could go on ahead and go along and look at it. Uh, we're going to be playing the Texans in our, I guess, the second week of the playoffs. And that video is going to be right here. I was going to do this in two separate videos, but I chose otherwise. Peyton Manning led the quarterbacks in pretty much everything there. And as you can see, we lost the running back race or the rushing title by a total of 22 yards. So a lot of you guys were right. Beast Mode was gonna win it, but I didn't think it was gonna be that close because he had a whole nother game to go and he was up by 50 yards. Man, if we could have got just another couple of big carries, we could have won that rushing title. So here's just a look at the standings and things like that of how Everything was lined up. I don't know how we got coach of the year, but apparently we were second. Uh, our kicker, Harry Potter, was third in the voting. Vontae Davis, second best defensive back. And if he would have stayed in for the long haul instead of getting injured like midway through, he probably would have won that thing. Best D-line. Frankly, I know you're wondering, where's B-Dub? Where's B-Dub? He's actually a linebacker. Our offensive line dominated here. You're just going to see our offensive line everywhere. But... B-Dub is a linebacker that I moved down to D-N, and in the offseason, I'm going to change his and Robert Mathis's position. I don't know how we managed to get Andrew Luck in that quarterback race. He was injured midway through as well. Defensive Rookie of the Year, I don't know how B-Dub doesn't get that thing when he was a sack master for the season as a rookie, but hey, to each their own, and went to Manti Teo. Here's the end of the season standings. We're tied for second with the Seahawks. I don't know who gets the number one overall seed, but we'll see if we ever make it to the Super Bowl and if they make it as well. No spoilers there. Trust me, nothing was spoiled. I've already played the whole season. <laughs> I played through the playoffs. The whole season is done. All I got to do is show you guys, but I had no spoilers, no spoiler alert, no nothing like that. The Rams brought up the rear, and my phone is going crazy. The Rams brought up the rear, and here's the scores from last week. Carolina, who was tearing through the regular season, ended off on a bad note and did not make it through the wild card round. And the Cowboys actually won a game. Here are the players of the week for the playoffs. Agree, disagree. Joe Flacco's in there, so I definitely don't agree. And Vontae Davis is out for the remainder of the playoffs with the exception of the Super Bowl. So if we make it back in time... Or if we make it to the Super Bowl, he will be back in time. CJ2K will not be a part of this game. So it looks like we might have it easy. Number one defense versus the worst, one of the worst offenses. Let's see how we do. In Tennessee, it's all about leadership. It's the stability of Jeff Fisher. And the ever aggressive Bud Adams to carry on for number nine. These are the Titans. I couldn't stand to stay. The Colts wear the crown in the capital city. From Marshall to Manning. Offense rules the day. It's about legacy in Indianapolis. These are the Colts. One team will move on, one team will not. We're getting set for a divisional round matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts here at Lucas Oil Stadium. 
Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. This divisional round matchup just moments away. Kickoff approaching. Are these teams ready to go? They're ready to go, and I'll tell you more importantly, the coaches are ready to go. We have two daring guys on the sideline who will take chances. Can't wait to watch it. What's the word from down by the benches? Danielle Bellini has the latest. Thanks, Jim. The question that's come up the most this week is who would you rather be, a team coming off a bye or a team coming off a big win in the wild card round? It's a tough call, guys, and no surprise that depending on which side you speak with, they'll tell you they're in the better position. Guys, as you know, only one side can move on to the AFC Conference Championship, so we're going to find out soon enough who it will be. Guys, back to you. And brought down at the 24. He had a decorated career in college for the Washington Huskies. Quarterback, Jake Locker. So here we are on our road to the Super Bowl, and we realize that our offense is pretty mediocre. Our quarterback stinks, and all we have is a running game. So we have to go on ahead and prove one thing to be true. The phrase of defense wins games is LeBron Landry gets us started with a nice big hit. He's taking out legs. He's taking out anything. LeBron Landry and Antoine Bethea, I'm telling you, have been some of the hardest hit. And got him, coach. LeBron Landry is already starting this thing out balling. Young's, of course, going to be the man at quarterback today. So the praise of our whole team has been our defense since Andrew Lucky got hurt. we become number one, and we have become the most feared defense in the league. Vince Young dropping back, hitting a screen pass to Michael Smith, who once again, his name will be changed in the future. Don't forget to leave your vote in the description. Oh my goodness, Michael Smith. The free agent picked up 65 rated overall. This guy is going to be a beast in the future trust me let's see if chuck pagano sells it where's chuck pagano let's see if we but as i was saying he sells it he's proud of michael smith all right he tried to play it off though he tried to play it off though but yeah look in the description we have a poll in there to see what we're going to be renaming our running backs to just in case wow just in case we can't get hollywood a beast mode we're going to be renaming trent richardson as well but that one's going to be completely hinged on me and Antoine, but they got him, coach. Now, not only is our secondary the most feared, but we're also going to pick your balls off, too. Yeah, we're going to take your balls from you. I don't think you want them. Here's a look at the passing stats. And so far, Jake Locker's starting off pretty bad. We have all the momentum in the world. Randy Moss, Optimus Moss, getting us a nice first down. Here we go, first and 10 on the 15. Look at, look at this guy run. Baby beast mode. Has been baby beast mode in his way in the past three or so games, man. He's been beasting out here. Vince Young time in the pocket. Hits Jerry Cook for the touchdown. They're making it way too easy. The line is finally blocking. We're getting time in the pocket. Let's see how Chuck Pagano feels about it. Whether or not... No. He doesn't, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Okay, whatever. So they go on ahead and they hand that thing off to Green and good guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That fumble worked out for them the most. Jesus. LeRon Landry with a forced fumble, an interception. He's beasting out there, but man, him getting that fumble was actually a benefit to them. Antoine Bethea comes up with the stop and that forces them to kick the field goal. So they get nothing on third down and it's good. All right. 14 to 3. We are still in control of this game. Vince Young with the play action fake and it gets sacked. Nobody got open. <sighs> we try. This time we find T.Y. Hilton. Really quick release, getting us a first down. Play action fake. Vince Young looking up the seam and we find my main Reggie Wayne. 25 yard gain and a first down. Second and eight. We're just going to fast forward to Baby Beast Mode. He's finding a lane. And good God, he tried to go for the truck and he got dismantled. But after picking up a first down, here we go. First and 10. Vince Young dropping back, looking and uh, an ill advised pass. And Werner just grabs that thing. He says, You don't want that. We're going to go on ahead and take that from you. So now it's Locker's turn. Let's see what he can do with it. Can he get them? up the field and within scoring range to make this thing respectable. 
Boom. Okay. Okay. Look at the hit. Even Butler's trying to get a piece of this action. As we get a little turbulence there in our audio. Locker's looking, and Werner, B-Dub, finds him for the sack. Second and 17. No. Whoa. This dude, LeRon Landry, don't play no game. That does it. Here for the first half. Titans trail in this one. Danielle's got an update from the sidelines. Let's go to her now. Danny? I had a moment to speak with Coach Pagano during halftime. And, guys, we hear both sides of the bye week argument all the time leading up to the playoffs. Today, it So here we go. Let's start off this second half the right way. We feed that thing to the trade father, Trent Richardson, and he gets us a gain of three. That's fine. Vince Young dropping back, and he gets sacked. Third and 13. He's looking. He finds someone up the scene, but completely overthrows T.Y. Hill, and then Werner is having none of it. Picks him off, and now we have to depend on the defense yet again. But the Colts' defense don't fall. Look at that sack. We get the pressure that we needed. Second and 17. Locker's looking. He's finding nobody but another sack. B-Dub with his second sack of the game. And that coach is like, you got to be freaking kidding me. We can't get no time against this defense. Absolutely not. Because we're going to pressure your offensive line, and if your receivers even think about touching it, they're going to get smacked and fumbled. As Baby Beast Mode finds a lane up the middle. Can he find another one? No. Vince Young dropping back, and he hit that government cheese to Optimus Moss. We're going to try to call him Optimus Moss. He, no, two interceptions, but he still has a really high completion percentage. Right up the middle again. Baby Beast Mode doesn't want to go down, and he picks up a game. A six. And we did nothing with it, so we had to punt that thing away. And look at that. LeRon Landry with that head start gets that sack. Let's see if he can do it again. This time he fakes it. He's not going to blitz this time. And B-Dub comes up with his third sack of the game, and it's a good one. It's a safety. Vince Young dropping back, and he finds Fleener right down the middle of the seam for a first down. This time he fakes it on the play action, and he hits Jared Cook. We're moving chains out here. We are moving chains out here, but all we get out of that is a field goal. Yeah, that, that's, that's about all we're going to get out of that one. Sorry. So now, Titans back with the ball. Jake Locker's looking. He's hit, he gets pressure, no pressure. And Green, Sean Green gets slow bridged. Second and five. Let's see what they do with it. Locker's looking. He's looking, he doesn't get the pressure in Antoine, but they jumps all over that. Got him, coach. Styles and profiles his way into the end zone. But his second interception of the game. That's his stamp of approval. Alright, so we ended up stopping him, getting the ball back. I ain't gonna waste y'all time, but I am showing the kick meter on this one. So y'all can see just how fast it goes, so y'all can stop asking me if I'm playing on all that. Yes. I'm playing on all Madden, and I'm showing you the kick meter so you can see the exacts. So, again, not wasting your time. Just showing you that we're going to completely run up the score because it is a rival team in our division. We want to make sure that they know they have no chance in beating us, and they will never, ever have a chance in beating us, ever. We run this division, and we're making a statement in the playoffs. If you want to get to the Super Bowl, that road runs through. Andy. Chuck Pagano doesn't care, but that's all we have for this game. Go on ahead, enjoy the highlights. You're going to see the stats at the end of the game. Chuck Pagano gets flashed. See if he cares now, you asshole. And uh, again, don't forget to vote down in the description. There's going to be a link on who we're going to be voting for to name our running back. And uh, until then, I'll see you in the next one. Because up next, we have a rematch against the Denver Broncos. And this time we have no Andrew Luck. And guess what? They have no Peyton Manning. It's going to be a doozy.